This is 10 News to Go, your quick check of the big stories we're tracking and where you can get updates on them. And we start with those vigils today to honor the seven victims of that mass shooting in University City. One vigil will focus on Monique Clark, the mother of three who was killed. And 10 News reporter Mary McKenzie is live in University City this morning. And Mary, people will have many chances to pay their respects. Jason, Virginia, there are three vigils actually planned for tonight. The first one you mentioned will honor Monique Clark at 6 o'clock. That's planned for the apartment complex where the shooting took place. The one here at Good Samaritan Episcopal Church will happen at 630, and the entire community is invited to come and pray for all of those affected by the tragedy. Monique Clark was 35 years old, a mother of three, and a light to everyone who knew her. She died at the hospital after the mass shooting Sunday evening in the apartment's pool area where Clark and friends were celebrating a birthday. Seven other people were shot, all of them expected to survive. The memorials today may help begin the healing process for the victims and for the community. Back out here live, the third vigil that we mentioned, uh, that's at 7 o'clock at First Baptist Church of San Diego. All of the information, the addresses of each of the three vigils, that's on our website. We're live in University City. Mary McKenzie, 10 News. Thank you, Mary. 10 News will be there as people pay their respects and remember Monique Clark, their tributes live tonight at 6. And if you need some more information about any of the three vigils tonight, just head to 10news.com. I'm Melissa Masiha. Happening in just a few hours, hundreds will gather for the annual San Diego County Law Enforcement Memorial to remember our fallen heroes, including San Diego Police Officer Jonathan J.D. de Guzman, who was shot and killed back in July. De Guzman's partner, Wade Irwin, he was injured. He is expected to speak at today's ceremony. And for the first time, JD's widow Jane opens up about how the last year has been for her and her two kids. A very emotional interview. I spoke with her at her home and really both of us couldn't stop the tears there. She does have a touching message though for San Diego about why she is ready to open up about her loss. Don't miss that interview tonight at 11. I'm Melissa Masiha. Back to you. Emotional moments. Uh, thank you very much, Mel. We have new developments today. The City Council is diving into the mayor's budget proposal for the first time, and many council members are concerned about what could be cut. Now, this budget plan puts a huge focus on infrastructure. Uh, of course, fixing potholes is priority number one, but the mayor hopes to cut spending by $22 million, making huge dents in the budget for programs like arts across the city, as well as police recruitment and retention. We'll stay on top of any updates from the council meeting. We'll have those on 10news.com. And if you want to read up on the mayor's plan and the concerns about it, go to our website, 10news.com. And a warm and sunny day shaping up for us, feeling like summer this afternoon. And a lot of sunshine across the county. You can see it over Coronado, the South Bay, Fallbrook, even Borrego Springs. However, there is some fog in the Fallbrook and El Cajon areas where visibility is less than a mile. So use caution if you're going in that area. Patchy fog again possible tomorrow morning. So I'll be here starting at 430 to let you know if fog's going to impact your commute. Along the coast, 72, but big surf and strong rip currents could impact you if you're not a great swimmer. Maybe just don't go in the water. 85 and sunny for our inland neighborhoods today.